these are example, just example research plots here. We've got our Easton's in some trials here still. We've got Caribou Russell in some trials. Sebec. Uh, quality is so important with potatoes. Uh, we need to have yields, but we also have to have the quality attributes, whether it's appearance, um, good flavor, good processing quality. There's a really wide range of important traits that we're looking for. And we're looking for resistance to those important diseases. This is the, one of our greenhouses in Presque Isle, Maine, where we're growing our seedling plants. Uh, plants are grown in seedling pots, three-inch pots. And these were grown from true seed that were from crosses done in 2014. So from the, those seeds are germinated and then they're transplanted one plant per pot here. Each pot is a new variety that takes about 12 years of de developing a new potato variety. I am thinking about a career in politics and I think it would be really beneficial to have some awareness of what's going on in our state and this potato breeding program is really critical I think for the advancement and a really big part of northern Maine. I didn't even know they had this program going on until I talked to Greg this spring and um, I think it's really neat to see that there's advancement still going on even though they've been growing potatoes for hundreds of years up here um, trying to eliminate viruses and uh, different disease resistances and I think it's really neat and I didn't grow up working the harvest or anything so I didn't have a lot of uh, true appreciation for farming and the agricultural world up here but I definitely have more of one now and I think that it's an important role in the um, the economy up here as well. I was really interested in Greg's work. Uh, it seemed like the things that he was doing and he is doing is immediately applicable to uh, agriculture and to Maine farmers and I love that. So this, uh, this one has um, scab resistance, it also has uh, re immunity to potato virus Y. And it's got good sum resistance to late blight and pink rot. So it carries a, a number of uh, good disease resistance characteristics, plus it has a nice bright appearance and good shape. Uh, we think it can be useful for fresh market. It's done well in fresh market evaluations. And it's also uh, uh, looking like it's got some potential for chipping. To be able to contribute to potato breeders around the world and say, you know, this is this is what we've seen in this variety that you love so much. It's got this gene and this gene and this gene. Then they can take that to whatever offspring they're looking at and they can say, oh, these genes were passed on uh, or, they, or they weren't. I'm really excited about being able to help breeders be more efficient potato breeders. I think it's really uh, exciting to be involved in the process of developing new varieties that help overcome problems for the industry, whether it's providing something that has better market quality, that gives people an opportunity to, uh, to generate more profits and have a, a good experience with their customers, or developing a variety that has resistance to disease that's causing problems for them.